Okay, Fogelberg out. Or er, in. Today we're running through scenarios of zombies versus giants. First scenario, giant robot. Pros can't be infected, can't be chewed through. Perhaps even more difficult to throw off balance than a living giant when the zombies swarm all over it. Cons, zombies might be able to get into the joints or under plates and into critical circuitry. Or, you know, or at least be able to get an arm in there before the robot's knee plate scissors it off. The robot may lack certain agility slash mobility. Sub-scenario. Okay, a mech with a human or humans inside piloting it. Now having people at the controls may enable the mech to pull off some more creative moves in dispatching the zombies, but it also presents a terrible risk in the event that the crew become infected. See Jake Bible's book, Dead Mech, for examples. Okay, scenario. Giant lizard. A big radioactive Godzilla type. Pros, got a big tail for sweeping masses of rotters into buildings, and that raging, rampaging, stompaholic reptilian brain won't be given over to fear or doubt. It's not going to shiver at the sight of a tiny zombie's toothy grin. Hell, the lizard may grin right back and just swallow the fuckers. How's that for containment? So then, cons, it will probably get infected. Bad. Might be better to nip this disaster in the bud and just nuke the site immediately. Scenario, rock monster. Pros, animal mutation and battle bots have glaring vulnerabilities, but what about a supernaturally powered behemoth made of volcanic rock? How could this go wrong? Impenetrable, immune to infection, and controlled from a distance by a CIA Vatican wizard or whatever Charlie Sheen is. I seriously see no holes in this. Huh, well, cons, what if the warlock gets eaten? Shit. Damn thing would turn on us and make human pate for the zombies to lap up. And you've gotta have a wizard. You can't give a rock giant complete autonomy. Like all free-willed giants, you would just begin smashing through densely populated urban areas in search of a girlfriend. Scenario. Zombies versus a giant zombie. Pros. Fire with fire. Ooh, I should have done a giant fire monster. Oh well, next time. But seriously... What better to flatten, crunch, munch, and otherwise obliterate the undead hordes than one big-ass zombie? I guess we'd have to develop a different strain of the virus, in addition to, you know, making a giant human, in order to ensure that it and the little ones would fight rather than teaming up. <laughs> okay, I already see problems here. Cons. All we're succeeding in doing here is building a better zombie. This thing would massively fuck our shit up. Maybe a giant zombie dog would lack the drive to consume homo sapiens? That might be a better way to go. But you know, the kid would just come running back to his masters with the zombie in his teeth and drool all over us. Fogelberg out.